Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. Welcome to my first cooking video. Today I'm going to make mayo. And I'm just going to get right into it because if there's one thing I hate more than talking, it's talking on camera. So I find that when I'm actually doing something, I explain things better. So first I'm going to start with some egg yolks. And separate it like that, just in the shell. Once you get it relatively separated, go right into, I'm using a Pyrex measuring dish for that. Probably not the best thing, but it's clear, so that's what I'm using for the purposes of this video. So that can go in the garbage. You can save your egg whites if you like, but I usually don't. I'm using uh, Golden's spicy brown mustard. Woo! Mustard water. And just a little squirt. I don't know, maybe that was uh, two tablespoons. Usually I'd add the salt now but um, salt and vinegar and lemon juice. But right now I'm just going to add some vinegar because Gordon Ramsay says that salting it at this point would destroy the uh, egg yolk. I don't know how true that is, but you know, you have all these things and move that out of the way. <laughs> have all these things and become kitchen lore. You know, you're not sure what what's what, but you can't always add it in at the end, so why not try it his way? Yeah, again, I'm not really measuring out the vinegar because I could always add it more to taste at the end. And when you're, uh, when I'm making anything, because I'm, I'm minimalist by nature, now, someone accused me of being a reductionist, but that's a philosophical dis discussion, not a uh, culinary discussion. Uh, I basically boil everything down to what what is mayo? It's basically, you know, you get the French explanation. It's one of the basic sauces in French cooking, but more to the point, um, it's an emulsion of fat, and liquid in the form of vinegar and lemon juice. And there's one more ingredient that people always leave out that I'll get to later. That's probably one of the most important things in making mayo. And once you ask the question, what, what is it fundamentally when you boil it down to its basic elements is what are the flavor components? And in, in mayo, for my taste, I like it's a combination of sour, salt, and sweet, and getting the ratios of those flavor components right is what makes a good tasting mayo. Next, you want to start drizzling in the uh, oil, slowly at first. Oh, one thing I didn't mention about the mustard is that mustard has emulsifiers in it, as well as the emulsifiers that are present in the egg yolk. I'm gonna put a dish towel underneath this because it's moving around a little bit and making more noise than, it, than it's necessary. Much better. Whoop, went a little fast there. It's all right. If you go a little too fast, just put the oil down and make sure all the uh, all that gets incorporated to all the egg yolk in there. I'm just gonna zoom this out a little bit just so you can see my hands a little more. At this point, I'm going to taste it. That's all sour, no salt. So I'm going to add my salt at this point. And I have a sugar here. I keep putting stuff in front of the... Like I said, this is my first attempt at a 
at a cooking video, so be patient with me. Needs a little more salt. starting to get close to adding the most important ingredient. Well, one of the most neglected ingredients that people forget to mention in their videos and recipes. Hmm. I think it's ready. I will be using a stick blender to finish this off. Now, the ingredient that nobody seems to mention is air. I find that my best homemade mayos come out the best when I get air mixed in. And one of the best ways to do this is at some point when it's starting to come together and almost looking like mayo, you pour in the oil really fast and get it whipping up really good and that beats the air into it. And from my experience, that's what makes the mayo that holds together the best for the longest amount of time. Just whip it up. idea to stick your finger in there but I'm a mad lad. Now that's thick enough for mayo for anybody's taste but I do actually like it a little thicker than that so mm. I'm gonna say I'm done with this. Now that, I use two egg yolks for that. I find that you can get between half of a cup of oil and a full cup of oil for each egg yolk. Oh, I forgot to mention that I'm using uh, mild olive oil. Usually people will use more neutral tasting oils. I find that this is the easiest one to find that's the healthiest, so that's what I use. I would never make this with something like vegetable oil because it contains a lot of soybean and uh, mass-produced uh, seed oils which are extracted through chemical processes and they have a lot of very unhealthy polyunsaturated fats. And olive oil is high in monounsaturated fats which are much better for you. Hmm. I'm happy with the salt to sugar ratio. Um, I think it could use a little more vinegar, a little more sour. So I'm just going to just a touch more lemon juice and apple cider vinegar. And this is gonna thin it out a little bit so I will be adding more oil. And you don't have to be careful at this point. Excuse me, you don't have to be as careful at this point. And at this point as well, it's just a matter of balancing the sweet, the sour, and the salt. That just comes with the experience. Um, but if you end up putting, if you find it's not sour enough, add a little more vinegar or whatever you're using. If you find that it's a little too sour, you always balance that out with sugar. So that's how you do that. I think this one's perfect, so I'm gonna call this done. 
Thank you for watching my first YouTube cooking video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hitting that like button means a lot. So the more people hit the like button quickly, the more people, the more YouTube pushes this out. So please do that for me. That would be a huge favor. Thank you. Bye-bye.